Okay, so um, I have to go to work uh, later today. Um, they gave me like a later shift, so I'm just killing time. Decided to go into the random matchup with my uh, with my son. I don't know. It's not exactly a sunny day team. It's the team I chose for the uh, VGC tournament um, of the East Coast Pokemon League, and I'm just you know messing around with it. Um, I just uh, ended up battling uh, a guy that I can't remember what his name is, but his team was pretty good, um, and I almost lost it. I, I'm surprised I won. I think it, I, I got lucky, but uh, check it out. So, uh, in this battle, I'm fighting Dome, and I, you know I send out Charim and Nine Tails as my leads. Uh, and he sends out, uh, for some reason, he gets, like, nicknames, so I'm guessing he's using, like, Action Replay or something. Uh, but he's got Terracon and Whimsicott as his leads. So, uh, of course, Ninetales' Drought activates. Uh, she's holding the Air Balloon for Earthquakers, and then Tirem's Flower Gift activates, which boosts the attack and special attack of all my allies. Uh, I use Protect because I thought he was going to use Rock Slide, and... Uh, I didn't see this coming. Um, Whimsicott uses beat up on uh, Terracon, 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 or something like that, and his ability is Justify, which raises his attack whenever he gets hit by whenever he gets hit by a dark move. So Justify activates every time he gets hit by beat up, which is a really good idea. I've never seen this. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it before, but I've never seen that, and I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so, you know, he got a, basically like two swords dance right there. Uh, I raised my special attack because, I don't know, I just, I didn't expect that attack boost. But he gets a nice rock gem boost as well on his rock slide. And my nine tails is brought down early game. And I'm just panicking at this point. I'm like, oh my god. And he got a crit. He didn't even need it. I mean, it's super effective. That was just brutal. Terrakion is like scaring me right now. I know I have to take Terrakion out. He is my main enemy, number one. Uh, so, Whimsicott then... I was going to use Helping Hand here. No, I was going to use Solar Beam on Terrakion. And Whimsicott freaking encores my... Uh, and it has, I'm pretty sure it has Prankster, so it's got that priority going. Encores my Whimsic my, Ch my Charim, so it's stuck in Protect now. And this guy close combats the crap out of my Dawn fan. He survives because of Sturdy. Otherwise, he'd be dead too. Uh, the Protect fails, which sucks because I didn't want to hit my Charim with this Earthquake, but, you know, whatever. Uh, she's a Grass-type, so she'll take it good. And, you know, so will Whimsicott, but I'm just, I'm aiming for Terrakion. And luckily, he gets taken out in one hit. His defenses aren't that great. Um, you know, you know, it's super effective, obviously, but it's great that he was, uh, he was taken out in this turn. Even though Dom Fan is <laughs> on his last legs, on her last legs, excuse me. Uh, out comes Ambidifel, I don't Ambipom, shiny. So I call back Dawnfan because I know it's going to use Fake Out. I mean, that's just such an obvious, you know, I go into Mace Magus for the new, you know, the immunity, normal immunity. And Trim's going to use Protect, so I'm not expecting any damage here. And uh, Ambipom does use Fake Out, but he uses it on Trim, which I was surprised at. And Alfun goes for the beat up on my Mace Magus, and I was just like, how did he know that I was going to go into a go... I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not going to take out much. It's it I think beat up has to do with like all the attack stats of each person in your party. I don't know how that move works, but it didn't do much. You know, Miss Mage just was able to take that beat up no problem. I caught her in back because she's locked into protect and she's going to stay locked if I leave her there because of the priority on uh on Whimsicott. And then she taunts my Charim, you know, it's annoying. <laughs> so um, as Mage just is going to go for an Icy Wind. I'm trying to take out Whimsicott here, but uh, Icy Wind isn't that strong. Uh, it'll lower her speed, but since she has priority you know, ability, it doesn't matter. And um, I've got Life Orb on my uh, Miss Mage just uh, to boost a little bit, but it's still not enough to take it out. Uh, and this guy uses a U-turn on Dawnfan, and Dawnfan finally goes down. But she did a great job. She took out Terrakion. That was her job, and she did it. So Ambipong goes back to his... Uh, I was going to say his hand, but it's like his uh, party or so whatever. And out comes Knack. I knew that thing was coming out. I was like, Garchomp's on his team. He's going to throw that thing at me. Garchomp is annoying. So out comes my Charim. 
And the yeah, flower growth activ activates because of the sun. And Miss Magus is going to go for an icy one. And this is great because Garchomp is super weak to ice. And then Whimsicott is too. So finally I take out that freaking Whimsicott. But uh, Garchomp gets to survive the, the icy win, which is fine. Uh, it brought him down to a really low percent of HP. And I'm pretty sure uh, he uses Dragon Claw minus Magus. And she's not going to take that. She's going down, so all I've got left is my poor little Charim, and she's going to try and follow up with Solar Beam, and we're going to see if we can take him out. You know, Solar Beam's got a really high power, but Garchomp, he's just a monster. Luckily, it was enough to take out the Garchomp, so I don't have to worry about that thing. All that's left to worry about is Mr. Ambipom, and Ambipom can be a little bit difficult to take out uh, sometimes. So I had to like, you know, I, I knew a fake out was coming first. That's just, it's obvious. As soon as, as soon as Ambipom comes out, fake out. It's, that's just, I mean, he's so played. Everybody has one. All right, so I, I miss, I mostly did the protect just to get a little bit more HP too. Because I have the lefties on my trim. And I'm just going to try and solar beam the crap out of it until it dies. Because that's her only attack. Um, my trim's running uh, protect, sunny day, helping hand, and... And Solar Beam. And he goes for a double hit, which surprised me. I thought he was going to go for U turn. But uh, I don't know if he thought I was going to protect again. He didn't want to waste the PP. Whatever. I'm just glad he did it. Uh, we, we're both like right at the end of our you know rope here. This is just like do or die. Who's going to go for I go for protect just in case he has like quick attack or something. Just to see what he's got. <laughs> And he, you know, he goes for the U-turn, which he should have did last turn, because I think he would have taken me out. But maybe not. Maybe I would have survived it. Who knows? Um, and then I go for the final Solar Beam to say goodbye to the Ambipom. And that is game. So it was a good battle, Dome, whoever you are. I don't know who it was, but... Good match. I liked uh, I liked what you did with Terrakion and Whimsicott there. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the match.